Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So this week's video is going to be a unboxing of the iPad Pro 2020 edition. I'll show you the exact iPad I do get further on in the video, so stay tuned for that. But yeah, I will be unboxing the brand new iPad and honestly I was so excited. I also decided to get the pencil, which you can see right now, and I love my iPad. I edited this video um, on my iPad and honestly, if you have a small YouTube channel and you're not going to be doing a lot of editing, I recommend an iPad and if you love editing on iMovie, it just makes it so much easier because honestly before I was just editing on my phone. But now I've got a bigger screen and I can actually see what I'm doing. But yeah, I also decided to get the pencil just because I will be taking notes on my iPad. Not really for school, more for YouTube and just to jot things down, just use it as a notepad as well. I thought, why not get this pencil? I do have one little complaint with this pencil. Basically, because obviously this is a brand new iPad, it doesn't have the button at the bottom of the iPad to take you back to the home page you swipe up which is fine because that's the same with my phone but when I am using my iPad I just use my pencil instead of my finger um, but to swipe up you have to use your finger you can't use the pencil which I really hate I don't know if you can change that in the settings but yeah that's literally my only complaint so I decided to get the second gen pencil because that's all I could get I couldn't get the first gen you need the second gen for this iPad which is kind of annoying because the pencils do the same thing ish like maybe this pencil's a little bit better but you still have to pay like quite a lot more for this pencil which is kind of annoying but oh well um i got it on the education website so i got up to 10 percent off i saved maybe just under 100 pounds on this ipad i ended up paying 932 pound 80 altogether which in my eyes i was happy to buy because it was my own money i saved up and i knew that i would get like a lot of use out of this so i just thought why not and it's exciting uh, this is i don't want to brag at all that's not what i'm doing i'm just providing this video to you guys so if you want to buy an ipad and are excited to receive it and you're watching an unboxing which i'm sure most of you guys are watching this video just because you're excited to have your ipad um because that's what i've been doing like the past three weeks can't I? but yeah i'm not bragging at all which i think most of you guys already know that because i've said that in plenty of my other videos i've done lots of unboxings on this channel now if you do love a good apple unboxing i did recently unbox the macbook air and the iphone 11 pro max just also, there is the education um, thing going on right now at Apple. You can get a free pair of AirPods if you buy a Mac or an iPad. So if you are thinking of buying one, I'd buy it soon before the deal ends. So yeah, I've got a free pair of AirPods, which is so cool. And I'm so grateful that Apple has that little deal because honestly, it made me 10 times more excited. Now, I live in the UK and this is something that I wanted to talk about because no one spoke about this in other unboxings, but I wanted to know how early people's iPads had arrived to their houses because originally I went into the Apple store to get my iPad, but they were completely out of stock because of course this is a really good device for students. So everyone's kind of buying these right now because it's like back to school season. Um, but I ended up having to go home and order it online. Now, Apple said it would be at my house between three to four weeks. It came literally two days before the very last day it could possibly come. So I was hoping it would come on the 14th because that was the earliest it would arrive or maybe even a week early, but it came on the 18th and the last day it said it could arrive was the 21st. So... If anyone wants to do the maths, they can, I don't know, you can try and figure out when yours is going to arrive. But yeah, that was kind of a little bit annoying because when I ordered my MacBook off the Apple website, it came a week early. Um, but that was also in April and not August. And obviously August, people are going to be buying new stuff for school. So 
just keep that in mind. If you have any questions about delivery and whatnot, just comment down below. And then this is the charging block. I'm really happy that I've got like this fat block and a new charger boost because I know that these chargers charge up my devices a lot quicker than the previous chargers. Um, I have one of these with the big block for my phone, but I was using before then the smaller plugs and they don't charge my devices up nearly as quick. So I'm happy I had one of those big blocks. However, what I'm showing you here is they've changed the plug, which I'm not happy about because that means when I've got all my charges plugged into my little extension cord, I have to find which particular plug is for the iPad, which is for my laptop, blah, 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 blah. I do a lot of my schoolwork on devices and obviously YouTube on devices. So I'm on devices quite a lot. So I am having to charge them up quite often. Um, but I'll just get used to that and I can always label it. I can always, yeah, not really that much of a problem. But I just thought I'd let you guys know that. And you do get a, um, a sheet of Apple stickers. So don't worry there. You should be very happy about that. I've got a little collection of Apple stickers going on and I'm quite proud of it. I can't lie. So this is the iPad. I got the 256 gigabyte version just because I knew that I'd be editing videos and I'd be just doing schoolwork. I don't think I want to do a lot of schoolwork on this device because I tend to do my schoolwork on my MacBook. But if I fancy doing a bit of work and um, writing something up, then I will do that on my iPad because I can and why not? Um, but yeah, this is mainly going to be used for YouTube editing, thumbnails. I'm so excited to do a thumbnail on this iPad, especially having a pen. I think that is going to make everything so much easier. So this is the case that I got. I got it from Amazon. I will link it down below or at least a similar one. And I can't, I mean, it's honestly, it's so nice, but I didn't get a screen protector and I think I do want to get a screen protector. And I don't like the fact that I have like my Apple Pencil just exposed. I think I'm going to get a little cover for um, that. I, I will link other things down below. So I'm also going to get a paper like screen protector, a pencil case, like a pencil like cover. Um, and I will link the ones that I get down below because I'm going to be ordering those tonight because I just, I don't know, I don't like having my pencil exposed because at the end of the day, I did spend quite a lot of money on this pencil, so I'd rather it be protected. And I'm quite clumsy, so I need to be careful. Now, um, I will be filming a update on my iPad. A lot of you guys loved the update video that I did for my MacBook. So I will definitely do a update for this iPad. I am so excited to play with it. Like I love it already. Look how beautiful she is. Um, and yeah, I'm very excited to see what you guys think. I'm sure you guys are all excited to get your iPad as well. Because I can't tell you how many unboxings I watched before I received this iPad. Because honestly, I thought I was gonna get it when I went to the Apple store. And then I had to wait another four weeks, just under four weeks to get my iPad. But it doesn't matter at the end of the day. I've now got my iPad. So I'm just happy. So I'm connecting my Apple Pencil up to my iPad. I didn't realise how strong these magnets would be. Like, it's... You see me, like, having to pull quite a bit more than what I thought. Because those magnets are pretty strong, which is good. We don't want the Apple Pencil just falling off the iPad. Um, but yeah. Linking up the pencil is very easy and that's all I can say about it really. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like, subscribe, comment anything down below and I will see you guys next week with another video.